Hello everyone, my name is Dave Partner and welcome to your next tutorial on Ionic 2 with Firebase 3. And in this tutorial, we'll look at the login functions and uh, how to create a login or login the user. I am on my users service.ts and uh, I, just, I just created a login function. This function, I got it from the Firebase. I got it from the Firebase documentation and I modified as uh, for Ionic. So when you get to the Firebase documentation and you click on guides and you click on authentication, you click on web, you click on password authentication, then you move to the right, you scroll down a little, you click on sign in user with, uh, with an email address or password. So that's where we are right now and then this is the function that I just copied, sign in with email and password. This is what we did. And we kept this for the other part. So we just copy it like this and then that's it okay so same thing with logout when you same thing with the um, login user did i did i use it twice okay so um, let's just look at the logout function so let's quickly write the logout user function all it just needs to do is to return the out sign out so here we can do any redirection on whatever we need to do or pop up or whatever okay so um to log in a user we've done this we we'll basically go into uh, a function we'll go to a html page and be sure that the user's login function is called submit login then we go to our login function and see if we have a submit login. Here is where we'll do a sign-in um, function. So basically, because I am a very lazy person, I will copy everything here in the sign-up function that we have. Now I'll copy it. I'll go to the login function. Login. And um, I'll paste everything then i'll change this to this user service dot sign up user so here we have inside user service we have login user so i'll use it copy go here and change the sign up to login so they both use the same thing and of course um, once user is logged in we redirect great and once if the if there is an error we should show a pop-up showing an error and instead of using the normal javascript a lot i want to use this opportunity to introduce you to an amazing um, pop-up in ionic so you go to ionic and look at um, ionic framework docs v2 that's the url for version 2 documentation then we'll go to alerts and see what alerts can uh, give us we'll go to components click on components and we have um, a whole lot of components and then we'll go to alerts and this is a wonderful opportunity to show you an aspect of the ionic framework documentation that most people miss these are components but then they have api so each component has an api document each component you click has an api document so the api document kind of gives you a more in-depth view of uh, how to use the component so you can right click and open in a new page um, so this is how to create a pop-up and this is an example so you basically scroll through your page and find the correct example um, no this is not what we're looking for we're looking for a lot so we come here and look for uh, we're looking for something like this uh, if there's an error to show the person error and give the person the error message and click OK and they have given the code for it that's a basic alert so if you come to basic alert this is how to implement it if you go to demo source here it will take you to the git um, ionic github account where the the code that actually produced this one that they used in the example you will see it in github so i can right click and open in github and of course like i told you before you can always check out the api docs for any component uh, you're checking out always check out the api docs there's always more in-depth uh, explanation in the api documentation so I'll open it so let's just take a look at the git oops unfortunately uh, 
four four not found but uh, you can i've always used them so you can i don't know why it's not found at this moment maybe they they have the link is broken so this is a lot you can always in the api look at the url has changed and it now has an api so always and they look identical the api section and the components they look identical so always make sure that you cross check the url to know whether you are viewing the api or just the components so as you can see the api explains more and gives you all the extra options that um, that the components doesn't cover gives you more in-depth uh, explanation okay so we can go to uh, a lot we're back to the components look at the url again it's now components no longer api so we need a basic alert and this is how to implement it first of all you import it into ionic angular so we get to our code and we scroll up and look for ionic angular look at ionic angular ionic angular on top that's ionic angular so and uh, we have already imported some stuff here so what we'll just do is import uh, a lot controller since we want to use it of course the next thing you want to do is basically call it here so we say private private ryan <laughs> private a uh, lot ctrl that's my the way i define my variables you can define yours in any way so we we'll call the controller then we can use it actually in our code so right there in our code um, see what we just did now so in our code we're going to do this so this is a function and we're going to show a lot so we'll copy from here to this place so we'll click ok we we'll get to our code and uh, we'll look for our login function where there is an error that is supposed to show submit login if there is an error show this pop-up we we'll say let alert because alert controller which is what we just use here the variable we just use here uh, make sure that you use the same variable that you used that you declared so we don't need new frame what we'll say is error login in and then we'll output the error the error should be subtitle error dot message then okay so this if there is an error it will just pop this up if there is a if there is an alert it, uh, it will just pop it up but then uh, once the this function starts this guy will start immediately uh, you, the person will see a loader a loader icon loading and then if there's an error login in this guy will pop up but if there's no error this guy will redirect perfect the next thing we want to do is to work on a, a logout because um, in the past tutorial we actually logged in in the past tutorial we logged in and firebase won't log you out for like 24 hours or so by default okay so we need to log out to test our login function all right so let's see so we need to create a logout button but the the, the main thing right now is that um, we need to create a user profile it's inside the user's profile that the user will see the logout button and uh, because of the length of this video we'll do that in the next video tutorial so thank you very much i hope you now get a better understanding of how ionic works and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and share if you have any question at all or you run into any errors don't forget to comment at the bottom of this video and i'll be there right on time to answer you thank you see you